Alrighty, so it's been a week since everyone's gotten the footage of land clearing going on over at Kings Island and I'm finally making my video on it. It's been such a busy week, we've had about four to five media events over the last week and a half and I'm just trying to edit all this footage. Um, and I'm finally going to make the video before all this new footage comes in as we have a ton of new influencers on our team to cover this project just as much as we did with Yukon Striker. This is going to be a massive project to cover and I want to do it justice for all you guys who are here to watch what I think is going on over at Kings Island. So I appreciate everyone who's come in and uh, is here to watch what I think is going on. A huge thank you and shout out to Adrenaline Obsessions on YouTube. This footage is his. Head on over to his channel and subscribe. Um, anything or any time I need information about Kings Island, I usually go to him. He's super passionate about Kings Island and he's definitely provided me with a lot of information. But um, as all of you already know, there is land clearing going on over at Kings Island. I don't know anyone who hasn't seen this footage yet, so I'm not going to talk too much about the land clearing as a whole, except for what I think it could currently mean. So if you currently look at the size of the plot of land, um, it's pretty small. It's not giga size yet. Again, more land clearing is obviously going to take place at some point. Um, this can't just be it. This wouldn't fit most B&M coasters. In fact, when my team did a scale to scale size of Leviathan and Fury fitting in this plot of land, um, the lift hill takes up about just over half of it. And with the lift hill and the first turn or first airtime hill, it takes up the entire plot of land. So you need to see a lot more land clearing um, taking place for you to see anything significant, but that is almost guaranteed to happen. Um, so I do know that Kings Island has been asking for a Giga Coaster for some time now, and that is why the coaster model that it's most likely going to end up being is a Giga Coaster. Um, but with the current size of the plot of land, it would make sense that a wing coaster could be one of the options. But again, we are most likely going to see that plot of land grow. Now, I want to touch on another thing. Will this be a record breaking Giga coaster? Will it be a record breaking BM coaster? And my answer is yes. And honestly, if you think about it, it makes sense. Cedar Fair is one of those companies that likes to break their own records. And it's a very smart business model to do. So, for example, if we use Gatekeeper as an example, um, they haven't rebuilt or broken their own record for a wing coaster in some time. And we now see these other parks coming in, swooping in and stealing Cedar Fair's records. This is why Cedar Fair, for the most part, tends to break their own records year after year. It prevents companies like that coming in and taking those records from Cedar Fair. So if it's going to be a Giga Coaster, I definitely do think it's going to break Fury 325's records. I think it's going to be taller, longer, and faster. If it's a wing coaster, I think it's going to break those um, records over in China. Um, so I definitely think whatever they get, it's going to be a record-breaking coaster. And that's truly exciting. It's definitely Kings Island's time for a uh, great record-breaking coaster. I think their last one was Banshee in terms of records. Um, Mystic Timbers obviously was a great addition, but for records, I think Banshee was the last coaster they got. Um, and based off of the interviews we had at Media Day for Yukon Striker, it seems like Cedar Fair is going to be giving the big parks each a turn each year. So whether you want to say the big parks are three, four, or five big parks, we know that each park is, um, there's a lineup for a big coaster. So that's what it seems like, and that's truly exciting. Um, and it's definitely Kings Island's year. And uh, I'm, I'm truly confused. I definitely am on Team Giga. It's definitely time for a Giga Coaster at Kings Island. But uh, I definitely think we can't rule out a wing coaster yet either. Uh, with the size of the plot of land, I need to see that grow for me to be fully on Team Giga. But um, from what I'm hearing from all the enthusiasts at Kings Island, there's definitely big signs showing that it's going to grow. And that's really exciting. Um, and again, there is construction equipment in that land clearing zone. Some of it is hidden by trees, some of it is in plain view, and that's a good sign. That's definitely showing that more land clearing could take place. I'm seeing pylons, and a lot of people might go, well, what do pylons have to do with land clearing, or what do pylons have to do with coaster construction? And I just want to remind you, if you go back to Yukon Striker's old footage that we covered, um, they actually used pylons to mark where footings were going to go. So if anyone can grab footage of the pylons on the site, what you're going to want to look for is markings that suggest a C and a number. Um, it seems like Cedar Fair likes to use those now um, in terms of marking where things are going to go, or at least at uh, Canada's Wonderland they did, and I have seen pylons on this site. So if you see a pylon, try and grab a shot. It might have C and a number on it. 
And that'll give you a lot of information. You can track kind of like how many columns this coaster is going to have, which direction it's going to go. Um, so that would be my suggestion to the coaster community if I was to give anyone a tidbit of information on what to look for on this construction site. You're also going to want to look for color coded spray paint or color coded stakes. Um, and that would tell you a lot too. Is there gas lines? Is there electrical? Is there water? What's going on? How much is this gonna be themed? With what we're seeing at Cedar Fair, this is gonna be a truly amazing addition. And I'm very excited for Kings Island. It's definitely their time. Um, and yeah, so I just wanna let you guys know we are gonna be covering this project full heartedly. Um, we have a huge team of people. I wanted to make sure I got a lot of influencers for this project because I really wanna cover it um, for you guys. You guys have been waiting for this project for some time at Kings Island. I definitely think you're going to get what you want. I think you're going to be really blown away. Um, and I want to make sure you guys get the best coverage possible on this channel. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this really quick construction update of the land clearing going on at Kings Island. I'm sure we'll have weekly updates for you guys on this channel. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Bye.